Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas. I'm uh, your astrologer. Today I will talk about Tuesday, the 15th of October. Today the moon will uh, be in, um, in Pisces uh, till uh, 8.30 p.m. universal time. After that, it moves to Aries. If you're watching me from the Americas, the moon will be in uh, around noon uh, time. Um, it will move to Aries but if you're watching me from Sydney most probably the moon will be around maybe um, uh, maybe 6 a.m. let's say your time uh, it will move to Aries so in all cases uh, please check the timing uh, so let's start with breaking down this day uh, Aries of course uh, the moon in Pisces may be a little bit um, kind of uh, kind of slow kind of uh, uninteresting time a time where nothing seems to move as you wish and in some cases there may be some delays or misunderstandings if you can wait till the moon reaches your sign that would be excellent otherwise plan accordingly let's uh, move now to taurus taurus so the moon basically in uh, in pisces is a great option for you it helps you to get things moving it helps you to build some relations it helps you to build more bridges when uh, the moon moves to aries things kind of slow down and you have to uh, maybe change your mind or maybe change some plans or maybe do some um some updating or maybe some changes introduce some changes to your plans in order to move according to the quality of time specifically precisely if you were born on the 17th 18th of may please be more careful Moving to Gemini, so Gemini, the moon in Pisces may put you under some stress. You may feel some stress. It's because maybe there is something going on. You have some important responsibility. You feel a little bit tired, but don't give up. There is some great, beautiful vibes coming to help you from Jupiter, from the sun, which is in uh, Libra. So don't worry, just keep going. The work according to a plan. When the moon moves to Aries, you'll be quite fine. Actually, you may even be interested in joining some uh, um, some team work. You join efforts. You will be interested in that. If you were born on the 12th, 13th of June, you can be very lucky. As for Cancer, so the moon in Pisces is quite uh, helpful, quite interesting. Uh, I think you will enjoy this beautiful uh, day uh, because um, there's a trine from the moon to your sign, from Saturn and Neptune to your sign. So these are three, three trines. And we have another trine coming from uh, Venus, which is still in, in Scorpio. So this makes... Um, a grand trine which protects you which gives you great energy great push to get uh, to achieve whatever you want the problem is still the presence of mars in your sign so you still need to know how to um, discipline this kind of uh, energy uh, and we have we also have planet uh, pluto which uh, actually uh, tells you to be careful if you were born on the 22nd of July. Uh, at 8.30 uh, p.m. universal time, the moon moves to Aries. So this is when you really need to be careful because the moon um, squares your sign. And we have, uh, uh, we have the sun squaring your sign. We have Mars in your sign. And we have Pluto opposing your sign. So there can be some kind of tension. Moving to Leo, so you can enjoy this day, although it may start a little bit kind of tough, a little bit on you, but then things slow down and then slow down in a, in a positive sense until you feel like you're kind of relaxed, you're kind of happy and as if things are really opening up to you. So this is going to be a beautiful uh, Tuesday night after all. As for Virgo, of course, you uh, may not actually uh, like uh, that much the effects of the moon in Pisces. Uh, you feel as if it's too uh, dry with you, meaning it's not kind and it's not uh, uh, helpful, um, friendly that much. Uh, you'll feel better when the moon moves, definitely when the moon moves to Aries. So if you need to solve some issue, you may plan some appointments, some interviews, some maybe some uh, 
some chores you can put them uh, till uh, maybe Wednesday or even Thursday you decide it's a fine day though uh, all you have to do is open up to different ideas that's the trick moving to Libra Libra my advice to you is although it's going to be a busy um, Pisces uh, lunar day uh, I think if you plan if you're uh, meticulous if you're precise with your schedule if you prioritize you'll be fine although it can be a busy long day why because when the moon moves to aries you may feel the um, you may start feeling the effect of this opposition of this moon because it's going to be a full moon so there's a lot of attraction this attraction it may attract some uh, maybe some um, um, reactions, some emotional reactions, maybe some conflicts or maybe some agreements. So you have to uh, be careful with that. Uh, Scorpio. So Scorpio, I like this day. There's a trine between this uh, uh, this moon, uh, Saturn and Neptune, three trines to your sign. And we have Venus in your sign. And we have another trine coming from Mars, which is in Cancer, to your sign. So this is kind of a beautiful combination of trines to your sign. It doesn't come that often. So what you have to do is enjoy, invest in this quality of time, which is super perfect. When the moon moves to Aries, the, the the tonality of these vibes will be kind of different and they will become kind of serious planet venus actually will help you will will reward you with great um, uh, maybe surprises or good news if you were born between the 18th and the 20th of november Moving to Sagittarius, I know Sagittarius, it was tough on you on Monday and today, Tuesday. I know it was tough, uh, but not that tough. It was quite fine. If you handle the energy uh, on Monday, you'll be quite fine today, but you have, you still need to stay serious and um, define your priorities and still keep a smile on your face. When the moon moves to Aries at 8.30 p.m. Universal Time, it's time for you to consider yourself a winner, a, a, an optimistic, uh, a, a rewarded person, a creative person, and a very successful person. Moving to Capricorn, the moon in Aries is not that great, is not that extra exceptional what you have to do is uh, uh, is uh, gather all your chores if you can and uh, wrap them up before 8 30 p.m universal time or maybe if you would like to keep them for um uh, friday or saturday that would be another idea so the the moon in pisces will um will actually will give you a great push a great bonus of energy uh, mental and physical but when the moon moves to Aries you may feel like you just want to retire just want to sit back and uh, enjoy some quality time with yourself on your own or with your loved ones so plan accordingly uh, moving to Aquarius I like this moon I like it doesn't matter if the moon is in Pisces or in Aries things seem to uh, flow quite easily I think uh, you need to be uh, on top of everything because it's true that everything's moving easily but quite fast so you have to be quite awake you know not like sleepy or careless or uh, um, uh, or neglecting things no you have to be on top of everything because everything is easy but moving quite fast so you need to catch up with the news you need to catch up with your work and get things done when the moon moves to Aries it's going to be even busier but everything it will be fine Pisces so the moon in your sign is extra good when the moon moves to Aries it's more extra good so it's better so what you have to do is enjoy your day plan plan this beautiful day uh, I talked about it uh, maybe I mentioned that it's going to be a lunar page four weeks of uh, some more interest in your work I know it was tough in the, during September, it was not that easy. So what you can actually do this uh, starting this uh, starting uh, today, you can actually plan ahead how to 
uh, make things better, how to improve your presence, your popularity, your work, your efficiency, your the, the way you produce, the way you create, you can do almost anything with the moon in your sign. Let's wrap it up with born on the 14th, born on the 15th of October. This should be a very interesting year. Definitely uh, the moon in um, uh, in Pisces, which will be with you, will accompany you all this year, will help you with anything, anything that you want to work on related to creativity, to art, to writing, to um, social uh, social sciences, uh, maybe social media, anything, anything creative is great. Even if you're not dealing with uh, a creative domain, domain, maybe you're a scientist, maybe you're a lawyer, everything will be different during this year. It's going to be a busy year, so plan accordingly. Uh, maybe there is some kind of um, uh, a change uh, at work, at the office, uh, or maybe at the university. Uh, it should be good, actually. Anyway, wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.